girl, when we left, I just can't forget all the love we shared when we kissed. Just you and I. school to talk to some of the staff there about putting together a show um, with their musical talent that's up there. Um, unfortunately, you know, I wish I could go around to every school and, and do this, but I want to try to get children to come down to the Apollo Media Center so we can have a little newsstand right here so we can report what's going on in the school system and try to figure out how our children can be a part on helping our education system, educational system develop a better way to keep our children from failing. Uh, the last past 10 to 15 years has just been, you know, just been like every child is really giving up on the ed education at some point. You know, uh, you know, we got to change that. You know, we we have an opportunity to bring our kids in and reach out to the community and get the resources so that way we can have commercials that our kids can put together for the local corner stores and start hearing some type of commercial, some type of advertising so we can get these kids some type of scholarship program so we can help them get the computers better, you know, better ways of learning, you know, send them on field trips, you know, other than around the city of Buffalo, maybe to Washington, D.C., you know, maybe to Disney World, you know, let them know that there's a whole world out there, there's something that you can do to be a part of. So I challenge all the community leaders, I challenge all the city officials, I challenge all the teachers to understand that if we have a television show for young children from 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade, we can have an opportunity to know what's going on with our community plus with what's going on with the school system. These children know more than what we think they know. So we have to let them tell us what works and what does not work so we can figure this out. Because at this point, parents are not really being responsible enough to really think that there's not a problem. I mean, they're not being responsible enough to know that there's a big problem. So, you know, you have to really look at how well your child doing in school. You know, are your child being influenced by uh, people selling drugs? I just saw on the news the other day. They was talking about somebody out there on Amwood or wherever offering kids drugs at the bus stop. I mean, you know, we know that there are some kids that go to high school and maybe grammar school that's probably using drugs. But, you know, we have to find the root of the problem because kids just don't go to school to be visible in the house. We got to find a way to make programs to change that, to know why these children are not acting right, okay? It's not because they got a mental problem. It's not because that no one cares. It's not because they can't do great in school. It's something at home that's missing. And we have to find a way to offer the children that don't have that extra grandfather, or extra grandmother, or that father, or uncle figure, or someone, or, or someone there to keep pushing them in, in the right positive direction. So as a community, as a human being, you know, as, as, as a child of God, it's only one thing that we can do to try to figure out why our children is failing. That's bring them in, put them on the television show, let them record their news on what's going on in their school. Let's fix the problems. Let's get in touch with all the teachers. Right now, the school year just started, now the teachers want to walk out. They want to complain about they not getting what they want. But yet and still, but yet and still, they didn't line their pockets up, 
getting all these free things from the city, you know, come on now, you know, don't make it hard for the children, you know, it, 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 it's bad enough that our children is failing, now you want to stand out there and act like you don't care because it's all about the money, okay, let's put the money aside right now, it's time for our community to start doing some investigation on what's really going on in the school system. I want my child to tell me everything that's going on. I want to be able to take a camera in the school. I want to be able to make sure that these teachers are being accountable. I want to know how many students are failing. How many students are passing? Which students are passing? Is it just the white children? Or just the Asian children? Or why all the African American children seems to just keep felt something is wrong and i'm not going to wait to the end of the school year to try to say you know what i told you i told you i knew i was right i knew something was wrong no i'm a challenge city hall i'm a challenge every educator i'm a challenge everyone that works for the education department okay andrew pleasant television TV show is coming to your school to find out why our children are coming. What's going on? How many teachers need to take drug tests? I'm quite sure there's teachers out there that leave their homes and go drink, go get high, go smoke. Some teachers, even principals, even having affairs and, 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 and flirting with, with their own children friends. So this is a big concern to me as our government trying to figure out better ways to keep our children safe but yet it's still our own teachers don't care how they disrespect our own children. This is Andrew Pleasant, Ple Pleasant Brothers Productions reporting to you live from Hollow Media Center. It's time to be accountable for all these children that's spelling in these Buffalo public schools. So now, I want young reporters, I want young children to be able to stand up right here on television and say what's going on. Because obviously, the parents are not getting the information for some reason they're being misinformed and plus this did not happen out there in the suburbs it only happens in poor schools enough is enough it's time to make sure our children are passing learning being productive and have qualified teachers, teachers that we know that care and doing their job to the best of their ability to make sure our children have the top quality education. After all, you are responsible for our children when they come to your school. So step up, I challenge every school to step up and try to be the best school that they can because it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense for our children to be failing. It don't make no sense for our children to be failing in school when you're responsible to teach them. So do your job. I'm going to do my job. And I guarantee you, my young television news hosts, which are going to be students, going to do their job, they're going to report what's going on, they're going to let us know exactly why they're failing, and we're going to come after you that's not doing your job. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. Get control of our schools, all right? And we're going to make sure that the city is going to support you. We're going to make sure that we will find a way to have a common ground to stop these kids from failing. Enough is enough. I looked at the records, I seen it, and I just, I am so disgusted. Not only because 
I'm not disgusted. Really, I'm not disgusted at, at, at no one but myself. First of all, because this has been happening way too long, and I should have been said something about it. But now I'm not saying anything about it. I'm gonna stand up and do something about it. Okay? It's a change that's gonna be coming for our children, and I, I, I'm not threatening no one. Okay? And far as the ones that want to keep on pushing our children away and putting them on buses, making them late for school, taking them long rides to schools that they don't want to be at, we have to start building our schools back in our communities where our kids can go to school and be safe and the parents can walk them right to the school the way I was brought up. I had to walk to school. So we need to start focusing on bringing them programs that the kids get out of the suburbs right here in our own community schools. Enough is enough. Them yellow buses, it's cost too much money to drive these children all around the city, tearing up our city streets when their schools right down the street from their homes. Put them programs in them schools and stop using these buses, making these people filthy rich, robbing the government, robbing everyone just to put the child on the bus to go to school when the school right down the street the school around the corner they got churches that can have schools in them but y'all would not allow it they got charter schools that should be full but now y'all would not allow it because y'all feel that you know what we take our children way out there no bring your children into the inner city from the suburbs bring the teachers into the inner city from the suburbs let's get the story straight Let's figure this out, but I guarantee you it's going to get done. I'm going to work on this, and I'm coming after those who think that they're going to be slick and get away with these kids that's spelling. I want to know why. I want the reports. I want to see why a child is in your classroom that's not passing. Something is wrong, and it's not just the child. Take a good look at the teacher. Andrew Pleasant, Pleasant Brothers Productions, television program, Halloween Center. So I'm just letting y'all know there's something new coming to you. You know, I'm going to have these kids reporting on their schools and let me know what is the problem. You know, as, as, as you can say, all these years they're going by, y'all been calling my children in school. It don't make no sense. It's getting out of hand. Too many young children are running into the streets, getting killed, getting killed. When children should be in the house or be in a program other than being in the streets where they know it's dangerous and it's violence out there every day. It's a shame. It's a shame that our own city officials cannot even find any of the killers. It's a shame that little children can't stand in the doorway or can't ride in the car. It's a shame that when you go home and you leave your job as a teacher, as a doctor, as a police officer, as a mayor, as a pastor, and you look in the mirror and you look at your children there's a way we can make our children safe. This is out of control. Thank you. Better shine some light on this before it's too late. It's Andrew Pleasant, Pleasant Brothers Television. I want to try to stay posted. I got some videos coming up, but right now I gotta go. All right. Got things that I got to do. But the most important thing that I got to do is make sure that our children have opportunity to become productive in our city. I'm going to open doors where other people said I cannot open the doors. I'm looking for young writers, young cameramen, reporters, producers, actors. I don't care musicians, but I'm going to get them because they are in our public school. And I want to make sure that whatever goes on in them schools, our children can tell us so we can fix the problem. So City Hall, I just
try to help them. That's all I'm saying. These people are really starting to come together on this. Okay? This is a new movement. And it's about our children. It's felt. That's it. Okay? It's not gonna happen. Not on my